Hello loves and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm doing a review and as you can tell by the title it is on the Claire's Midday Blue Sun Lotion and this is actually the renewed formula and before we start, yes I'm wearing a shirt, <laughs> it just might dip in and out of this clip based on where it cuts me off. But yes, I am reviewing this sun lotion and it's not necessarily a new one. This came out like one to two years ago, like me, not last summer, was it last summer? or the summer before that. But anyway, this is not necessarily a new product. However, the reason I'm reviewing it for you guys today is because it's been renewed. And with the renewal of the formula, it's actually way better than it was before, which is why I felt like I wanted to share this with you guys. Because before, it was a holy grail sun lotion that I've raved about for the past two years. I've already previously reviewed the older formula on my blog, and then I also recently reviewed and compared the renewed formula to the older formula. So I was really, really excited to try this out and to share it with you guys because it's something that I am absolutely in love with and I, I swear by it. So if any of you guys are like me and you have a sensitive acne prone skin, then this is something that I really want to share with you guys because it suits my skin well. And I have sensitive, dehydrated, dry, acne prone skin. I break out from almost anything in skincare ingredients or makeup ingredients. It's rather annoying. So the one thing I love about this Claire's sun cream is that it has two types of SPF in it, chemical and physical. And chemical is good for people who want a protection that's really, really lightweight, but it's not gonna leave any white cast on the skin. However, with most chemical ingredients, they can be irritating on the skin, which is why a lot of regular SPFs that are for the face, that are good for sensitive skin, include or are based strictly off physical SPF, which is usually derived from minerals like zinc and other stuff like that. I don't know, I'm not gonna list it all off for you guys, I'm lazy. But yes, basically it's usually from minerals, but the downside with that is that it's not good for men because it sticks to facial hair, and it also leaves a very strong white cast over the skin, so it makes you look pale. It's really bad in photography flashback and under makeup. So the one thing that I did like about the Claire's one is that it uses both, so it kind of balances out between the two of them to make them kind of work together so that you get the best of both worlds without one being too heavier in retrospect to the other. Now the downside with that is that it does the original formula did cast a bit of a white cast on the skin, so it made it look a little bit brighter. So that is one thing that they fixed in the new formula, so it doesn't have as much of that white cast effect, which is something I immediately noticed. Now, the one main ingredient of this SPF is gosling, and gosling is great for people who have very sensitive, irritant-prone skin, or people that have really dry skin that is always red and irritated. So having gosling in there helps heal the skin, and it gives the SPF a slight blue cast on the skin. And it doesn't really look like blue on the skin when you apply it. It kind of has this brightening and illuminating effect. So it doesn't make you look paler necessarily, but it just gives a glow to the skin that I think is really, really lovely. Now, something else that they really improved about the formula is the texture. And I didn't have a huge problem with the texture with the original formula, but a lot of other people did surprisingly. For me, I noticed that if you put too much of the SPF on, it would clump and ball up on the skin under makeup or over top of your skincare that you already applied. Now, with the old formula, I found a balance so that that didn't really happen, but I guess a lot of other people had a problem with that. I didn't really, but I had it happen a few times on occasion to me, so that is something I didn't really like about the formula, and for me, that was the only deal breaker. However, I still loved the SPF so much that I continued to use it throughout the years that it had been launched. And one thing that I really loved about this SPF is that it didn't break me out, and that was a big deal for me. So when I saw that they were coming out with a new formula, I actually was a bit scared because this is one of the only SPFs that has never broken me out and has worked well with my skin. Every other SPF I have tried other than the Coserex Aloe Soothing one has broken me out at some point. And the Biore one, hasn't really broken me out much, the Biore Watery Essence one, except for one month, like a year ago, it broke me out a bunch, but then it didn't, I don't know. So I guess my skin hates it or loves it at times. It's really, really weird. But with the Claire's one, it's never broken me out. So I was a bit skeptical to try out the new formula, but to my surprise, it worked even better with my skin. Like it's a lot more hydrating. It doesn't 
crumb up under the skin. The texture is really, really buttery smooth. It just kind of melts into the skin and it doesn't leave as much of a white cast as it used to. And it's just gorgeous. I'll insert some footage here of the texture for you guys and it's absolutely stunning. It's really similar to the Coaster X one now, except it's not as heavy, which is something I really like because it is summertime for most of the world right now. So when, when you're using SPF in summer on your face, you want it to hydrate but not overly moisturize the skin and you want it to sit well under your makeup. You don't want it to make you look oily or greasy or just be way too heavy during the hot summer days. So this I feel like is just such an improved version of the formula that it really has been absolutely perfected. Now, of course it does still have physical ingredients in there for the SPF. So if you are a male and you have facial hair, there is a chance it might stick to your facial hair. So you might have to be really, really careful when you massage it into your skin or make sure you have a shaved face. Um, because it will possibly cling to your facial hair or stubble. So be careful with that. If you are a male, this might not be the best choice for you, but for you females out there, if you don't have facial hair, then you're probably good to go. I have actually had this on me for easily a month to a month and a half, almost two months now, and it's not broken me out. I've used it every day because I live in Australia now, and even though it's winter time here in Australia because we're on the lower part of the hemisphere, it is still the country with the most like strongest UV rays. So for me, using SPF daily whenever I go outside of my apartment is really, really important to me. I always put an SPF on because the ozone layer here is way thinner and skin cancer is a really high risk when you live in Australia. So this is something I strictly use every day and it's not broken me out. It does what it needs to do. It keeps my skin hydrated, doesn't clump under my makeup, doesn't make me look ghostly white even though I already am pretty ghostly white. So I absolutely love it. I hope that this review video was able to clarify a few things or for anyone who was wondering my opinion on the Renewed Formula, I hope it helped you out. If you guys wanna see a detailed review and comparison on the two SPFs, the older formula and the Renewed one, then check out the blog post down below in the description box because I already did a blog post comparison review on the, the two formulas. So you can definitely check that out. Remember to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it or if it helped you out because it seriously helps me out. Comment down below if you guys have tried the new formula and let me know what you think. I wanna hear your guys' opinion too because this is a holy grail product of mine and I really, really love it. And of course, remember to subscribe if you guys wanna see more review videos. I do a ton of reviews here on my channel and I also do makeup tutorials. And on that note, if you wanna see how I got this look, then you can subscribe to see that because that look will be the, in the next video. I love you guys so much and thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.